Welcome to this DigiPara Elevator Architect 2015 First Steps Introduction. In this example, we have a very basic uh, building just with uh, four floors. And I want to show you how you can easily add an um, elevator to this uh, building. After you've installed Elevator Architect, you find under Add-ins, you find uh, Elevator Architect plugin. So simply click on Elevator Architect and create, click on New Elevator. Um, choose Create a New Elevator and then Next. Under Floors, you can choose from which to which floor this elevator should uh, go. Uh, elevator autom automatically populates the floors that are part of your building. And uh, choose Manual Solution Modeling. And finally, we choose one car with 1000 kilograms. Click on, uh, you might check uh, the pick base point uh, in the building. I keep it as it is for this example. And then click Next. And uh, now you have to select a solution. And I want to choose this ThyssenKrupp solution, which is a certified solution. So ThyssenKrupp, um, Cine has uh, checked this solution so that it's valid. Click on Next. And finally, click on Start Update. And this will install an elevator in the building. And on the right side in the background, you see that the elevator is installed. And finally, we can close that. And if we go to this Elevator Architect home screen, we see that we have one elevator here in this um, screen. There is a coordinate system in the left uh, corner of this um, shaft. So if you want to move the uh, elevator or if you want to uh, rotate the um, elevator, you can simply do this by moving the coordinate system and then you go on the add-ins and click on update and create or update Revit and this will automatically uh, bring this elevator to a new location. When you go into Elevator Architect, you always have control over your elevator. So we have one elevator. We can add a second group simply by create new elevator, do the same process, choose the floors. And let's say we want to have two elevators with uh, with uh, 630 kilograms. Then we can also pick a point. Let's say we want to place the elevator at this point. And um, then we click next. And here you can choose from the different vendors a solution. So we can, for instance, choose a Schindler solution, which is also certified here. So let's choose this Schindler solution for this uh, system, click on next, and then we simply can click on finish. This will also update um, our model um, in the building. So if we go back to the home screen of Elevator Architect, you see we have two elevator, one elevator and a, and a group of elevators. And in the model, this is the way that uh, looks like now. If we have a look at the vertical section, it's important that all floor that you want to have a service uh, to must be marked as building story. So Elevator Architect suggests all floors that are marked with this building story flag. This is the default, usually it's set, but just for you to know. Um, you can also determine where the elevator has a service. So we go into Elevator Architect and then we see here for this group, Elevator Group, we see where this elevator has a service. So we can disable some items here just to have a sample. And after we update this, you see that this, uh, some doors disappear. And in case that you um, move floors or that you um, add a new floor, let's uh, copy this floor here from here to here. Um, you click on create or update in Revit and this will automatically align uh, the floors accordingly. Elevator Architect supports two types of um, elevators in the building. The typical Elevator Architect um, model is a simplified model just with landing doors and the cabin and the shaft hole. But for some elevator manufacturers, and in this case, I want to show you this for uh, ThyssenKrupp, we also support full BIM model. Full BIM model means that uh, 
you can download from the ThyssenKrupp website a full beam model of this specific elevator and this happens fully automatically. It happens because your information is sent to a ThyssenKrupp server and on the ThyssenKrupp server the corresponding is geometry is uh, generated and um, delivered to your model and what you see in a few seconds is that in the background a full beam model is um, installed in the building. A big improvement installing an elevator in a Revit uh, building is that Elevator Architect creates a Revit family for every component and installs it exactly to the requirements of the elevator vendor, in this case to some crop. So you can be sure that all components are in the right location, that they have the right size and are the right type. At any time you can go back to the simplified BIM model. You can also see the sales contact who is in charge to help you if you have any problems. So feel free to contact the sales contact and um, you always have control over your, your models here in this um, Elevator Architect home screen. We wish you uh, good luck with this um, application. It's a free application. It's always free of charge and um, yeah, have a great day. Thank you for your time.